What was the worst financial decision I ever made? And that was actually fairly recently. So hold on to the end. This is not just a hook. This is a real poor financial decision I made. So, hey, great chance everyone watching this video is seeking the exact same thing. I've coached 156 people to date on retirement, people, couples, on this transition from working to retirement. You know, my name is Joe Kuhn. I've been retired for four years now. I retired at 54, making me 58 today. So most people, when they seek me out as a coach, want to talk about money. That's at least 75% of the conversation. But nearly every discussion moves to health, fitness, time, what's my identity, what journey they plan on taking afterwards, what exciting thing they have uh, pushing them towards retirement. The fear of moving from saver to spender, just the, the mentality of it. I understand the math, but the mentality is, is hard. Market fears, economy fears, government fears of changing the rules along the way. Running out of Social Security, something like that in, uh, what's it, 2034. The bottom line is nobody has experience on this transition. Nobody. No matter how successful you have been in your chosen career, your skill, whatever it is, your business that you've started, will you be successful in retirement? There, that's, that's an unknown. That that paralyzes a lot of people. Many get trapped. This is a common trap I see people in one more year. They convince themselves it's because of money, but it's really because of fear. Fear of the unknown. Will I be successful? Will I like this? Will the market be okay for me? So one more year. It's easy to get trapped in that uh, one more year cycle. And sometimes you need a coach to help you get out of that. that. Um, maybe you can't get out of that by yourself because you're in your own head. Fear is normal, folks. It's not a sign you're doing something wrong. It's not an intuition you have. It's, it's absolutely normal because it's unknown for you. So what is everyone seeking? What is everyone on this channel seeking? It's confidence. You're seeking confidence. How did I get the confidence? I'm just telling my story. How did I get the confidence at 54? Why did I choose at that time to go? Well, four, four pieces to my plan uh, that I used. I didn't have this as a plan back then. I've had to reflect back on it and say, this is what it was. This is what I did. One, I start with the 4% rule. Look at 4% withdraw from your investable assets. Don't count your house. Don't count your cars, just your investable assets. Uh, if you draw out 4%, does that come close to coming to your expenses, covering your expenses with some slop, with some extra room for unplanned things? Then, honestly, I spent hundreds of hours making spreadsheets. I'm an engineer. <laughs> I love spreadsheets. And why hundreds of an hour, hundreds of hours? Well, I was stress testing. I kept finding mistakes, formula errors. You know, I added where I should have multiplied uh, it's just when you got massive spreadsheets projecting out the next 30 years, believe me, errors can happen. I probably had 10 of them, uh, and I'm down to one now. Hey, down to one. But a lot of time, a lot of hours, countless hours and stress um, thinking this through. I also met with, step three is I met with uh, seven financial advisors. I... Um, I decided upon a free financial advisor. Um, many folks don't know this, but if you have over a million dollars in your portfolio and you stay in the same fund family like Fidelity uh, or American Funds, uh, just to use two examples, uh, they will provide you with a free advisor. Now that's not the full advisor services, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, I've got a guy linked below that I use and I encourage you to call him. Great guy, uh, great morals, values, family man. I, I like him a lot. I think he's 42 years old. I wanted somebody young enough to manage me through retirement or help me through retirement. And also, he is the, the help chain if I happen to pass early. 
So if I die, my wife doesn't want to do what I do and manage these this money, he's going to step in. So uh, he's the second phone phone call. The the uh, the coroner's the first, and Neil is the second. So great guy, I encourage you, but uh, to go with him. But I chose the free option. Uh, after meeting with seven people, I I mostly do it alone, but uh, Neil uh, does give me guidance. Uh, and number four. I started a retirement group with two other people, and this is where we do intimate sharing of our retirement plans. I mean, they know all my expenses, they know my fears, we research topics together, um, they tell me what I'm doing wrong, they're telling me that I wouldn't use that high of a rate of return for my bucket three money, what are you doing with bucket one money that's short term, like next four years, we intimately share and challenge each other in a respectful way. I know they're trying to help me, but they are there to poke holes in my plan, not be nice, okay? We meet about monthly. Anytime I make a decision, I email them and say, here's what I'm thinking about buying I-bonds. Here's why, what do you think? Um, I'm telling you guys, don't go it alone. Going it alone on your retirement journey is a huge mistake. If you remember nothing else from this video, going it alone is a huge mistake. You'll have errors in your plan and your confidence will be low. The topic of this video is confidence. Your confidence will be much higher if you run your plan by somebody. That can be a financial advisor, can be a free financial advisor, could be a fee-only financial advisor, could be a retirement coach, okay? Do not go it alone, okay? But, hey folks, you know, I'm 54. I still had my doubts. Make, getting ready to pull this trigger, I still had my doubts because you don't know what you don't know, right? So you're going into the abyss. Yes, I was successful in my career, but I, you're, you're taking a lot of risk retiring early, okay? Um, market risk, economy risk, unplanned expenses, health, you don't know. Uh, but, but the trap... One working one more year, working 10 more years. Yeah, that works financially, but you just squandered 10 years of your epic retirement journey. I didn't want to do that. I do not like fear to drive my decision-making. That's one. When I figure out that I have all the data and it tells me to turn left and my fears tell me to turn right, I, I that's a trigger for me. I'm very self-aware that it's fear not logic, and then I, I make the appropriate decision. Hopefully that makes sense. Fear, are you letting fear preventing you from retiring early and uh, leading your life on purpose, uh, managing your time? Confidence is this key, uh, folks. Confidence is what you're seeking. That's why you're trolling um, YouTube, looking for some magic phrase from somebody, some little tidbit of information that's going to tip the scale for you, but it's confidence. Everybody's difference is different. Their plans are different. Their risk profiles are different. You need confidence. I needed confidence. That's what it takes to walk in to the boss's office or to submit that letter of resignation. Enormous confidence. Confidence means making a decision in spite of fears that you have. Does this hit home? Uh, does this hit home for you? Let me know in the comments. Uh, the secret is confidence. This is why I produce this channel. Folks, I, you know, I've been on this journey for four years and I've learned so many things. People ask me all these questions about retirement, how I did it. So I, I just said, you know, this is good information for the masses. That's why I make it. Uh, I like helping people. Um, I like coaching and mentoring people. I, I do. That's, that's, you know, that's why I put a lot of hours into this. I've been there. It's not just a math exercise with a right and wrong answer. It's retirement's not. And, and that's why a lot of people just keep gathering information and information and get into analysis paralysis and they forget that they are looking or they don't know that you are looking for confidence. How do you get it? I shared my four part plan earlier. The only thing that's changed since when I was 54 is I discovered a comprehensive self software package, okay? This software package is a game changer. Look in the comments of my videos and you'll see them talk about new retirement, how that just changed their whole thinking 
about retirement. They charge $120 for this. And you can get a free two weeks. There's a link. You hit the show more uh, under the title and there's a link there to get a free two weeks, okay? Please hit that link, get the free two weeks, see if you like the format. This software replaces all of your spreadsheets, all of your handwritten notes, and it's written by professionals, been tested. The software takes 100 hours of analysis and spreadsheet creation and reduces it down to like 30 minutes. Okay. Now I spent a lot more, longer than 30 minutes on it because, you know, I'm stress testing and, you know, I'll, I'll spend two or three hours on it. But, uh, man, um, the, your fears of mistakes and, and cell errors and formula errors, don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. Your confidence is going to soar. And this is, you know, individualized to you where you look at rates of return, you look at Roth conversions, you look at timing of social security. They also have some in artificial intelligence in there to tell you, say, hey, you can make more money if you do Roth conversions. You can make more money if you delay uh, social security timing. Um, it's just, once you complete your information, it'll say, here's 15 suggestions for you. You know, it, I can't speak highly. Uh, I, it's it's impossible for me to say what this has meant to my retirement and my confidence. I buy this myself. I buy it myself, okay? Your confidence will soar. Look for the words game changer in the comment section from people uh, regarding uh, new retirement. So that's the only thing that's changed. Uh, I replaced my spreadsheets with new retirement. Your confidence is what you seek, folks. Find it in the four steps I just identified. I, I, I think you can. I think you can. Are you trapped in the one more year with your financials? Are you trapped in that? It's confidence holding you there. Okay. So what was the worst financial decision that I have ever made? Okay. Think you know it? Write it down in the comments. Hit pause. Write it down in the comments. The worst financial decision I made, you are going to have to make. My worst financial decision was retiring early. I would have been far better off financially to work one more, two more, three more, 10 years, 20 years. Eventually, we all got to make that horrible financial decision and say, I want my life back. I want my time. I've only got one shot at this. No question, by far, worst financial decision, but best life decision I've ever made. You can do it too, with confidence. It's Joe out.